Hello, my name is Stephen Thuey, and welcome to my first YouTube video. And in the first part of this video, we will be developing a Hello World program using Visual Studio 2017 RC, release candidate. Uh, this will be targeting Excel 2013, and we'll be using Visual Studio, Studio Tools for Office, uh, VSTO, and this will be in C Sharp. In the second part of this video, we will go over some of the nuances of uh, developing with VSTO. Just some things you should probably know. Okay, so let's get started. First, we uh, choose File, New, and we'll be doing a new project. This will be Excel 2013, and we will name it Hello World. Okay, I'm going to create the project. Okay, in this add on uh, class, CS file, whatever, we will um, need something or need a way to get a hold of the worksheet. So we just right down here after this add in shutdown, we create a public method and um, excel dot worksheet and we'll name it get active let's put a capital S there we go get active worksheet okay so Get a little error there. We need to return something. Return cell dot worksheet application dot active sheet. Great. So, we have that. Now we want to add a new object, our new item, and we'll use the ribbon visual designer. <coughs> Not too particular on what it's called. You can name it whatever you want, whatever you wish. So it's creating that. So, now here I have the toolbox open. Um, this is um, the the ribbon on the top of Excel. Uh, it'll be in the tabs add on, add ends ribbon or tab on there unless you change it. We want to change it. So we'll go down here into the properties and let's see. Let's name it hello. Hello. Okay. Now it's still in the tab add on, so we'll need to change the control ID. Need to get it away from Office, because it'd be in the Office tabs. And that's all we should have to do. So, group, let's get rid of the. You can name the group anything you want. Um, call it first because that's our first VSTO app. So let's put a button in there for right now. So we have a button. The label on the button will be hello world. And we'll just change the name. To something more a little more relevant. Okay. Now we can run the app just to try it out and see if we have no errors. Build started. And it will start up Excel for us. Um, do the blank workbook. And 
and in hello ah oh, we have hello world with the first and it's, if we hadn't changed the names it would have been in this one and I would put it right next to there so but we want it in our own and we want our own button it doesn't do anything of course so you can either X out of this or you can stop the app itself through this or stop Excel itself so we have that let's just click on the hello world that'll bring us up to the click hello world click uh, let's see now we're gonna we want to put hello world into cell a1 and we have to get a hold of the work the current worksheet uh, so we need a worksheet or we have to create a worksheet new object to get a hold of that oh oh you know what we need to have add some using statements oh yeah won't work without that so oh, we need to be using Microsoft dot office dot interop dot excel and we also need to be using I'll just create a shortcut excel equals Microsoft Microsoft yeah dot office dot interrupt dot excel yeah let's do that I don't know if we need that one but that'll work so I'll go back down here down to the click worksheet uh, now it comes up in a telesense current sheet just something to name it equals globals dot this add-in dot get active worksheet so we have that done now we're going to actually put hello world into the current worksheet so current sheet um, dot range square bracket um, a1 dot value equals uh, let's see hello world great I think this will work let's try it so we start it up <coughs> the blank worksheet workbook and go hello and there it is how ah, we could be done but you know that kind of looks a little goofy with that and D sticking off to the side so let's close that don't save so let's go here and let's add a current sheet dot auto no no dot columns dot auto fit should be an auto fit in there auto fit there it is okay start it up again hit the blank workbook by the way if you don't want that start screen to come up you just go into um, options and you can um, show start screen and get rid of it right there you might want it because um, you'll be working with the worksheet over and over again doing something to it so I leave it in there okay so now we hit hello hello world ah it auto fit it great that is great so you would you have done your first hello world VSTO app now developing with VSTO um, 
that startup screen I already explained to you. You can get rid of it or leave it there, whatever you wish. It doesn't matter. And it's nice to leave there if you're going to be working with the same sheet over and over again. If I have a bunch of data over here that this button's going to manipulate, I want that to come up so I can pick that every time and then go over and hit the button to to test my app. <coughs> um, you will inevitably create have some create an app that has some problems. Uh, let's, let's just create a problem. Yeah, don't save. So let's go uh, int n equals one. While n is greater than zero. And let's, so we got that. So what will this do? It'll hit the button, auto fit it, and it'll go into this loop, which will never come out. Ah, it didn't even auto fit it. And it went there and got stuck. So now it's just stuck in there, it's stuck in the endless loop, and yeah, you can just you can just stop um, your app. And now when you start it again, Excel has run into problems with Hello World add-in. This case happening, disable this add-on and check for available updates. Do you want to disable it now? You know what? Every once in a while, I usually hit no, but every once in a while I'm in a hurry and I hit yes and I messed it up now it's not there anymore the add-in is disabled in order to get the add-in back you go into options add-ins and you will disabled items okay I must have just exited out of there for some reason Options, add-ins, disabled items, go. Okay, so we can re-enable it back from back there. Hard no disabled items, okay. And we have to restart that app. And it's back. Okay. So now you have an Excel. You have a a button in Excel. If you just start up Excel, you have this button in there. And I'm not going to hit it because it will get stuck, and that is not a good thing. So what you do to get rid of these, let me go in here and VSTO now you will just Google this Microsoft Visual Studio tools for the Office System Power Tools version 1.1.1.0 this came out in for two, Visual Studio 2008 and nobody's ever updated it, I guess. So you can hit the download button. The VSTO underscore PT dot EXE is the one you will need. This will, this app will get rid of, let me see, sorry about that. This app, and it will install it into a location on your C drive. I'm trying to think of program times 86, Visual Studio Developer Cleanup Tool. There'll be no spaces in here, and you can just search for it. Or I have to search for it every time because it, it doesn't tell you where it installs it. It just installs it, and then you make a shortcut. So in here will be all your head into bug registry certificates, local debug. If you want to find out what any of these tabs are for, just go into Helpful Information, and this one 
these will explain what they're for. Okay, I just remove all entries. So I didn't select them, remove and remove. And I can just X out of there. So next time you start up Excel, you're just gone. It's, it took it all the registry out wherever it's at and it's gone. So as you would just get a whole bunch here all lined up in a row, you don't want that. Especially the hello world one with the, that loop in there, a while loop that goes nowhere. It would freeze up your, if somebody accidentally pushed the button or if you did, it would freeze that up. Okay, so, and then, let's see. So, Visual Studio. That's the wrong one. There we go. So, Visual Studio 2008 it's really bad for doing VSTO uh, development. You'll be banging your head a lot in it, and I would not recommend it at all. Visual Studio 2010 is much better. And what I've done most of my development in for this is Visual Studio 2012. Worked really well. 2010, I still had some problems. I don't remember what they were exactly, but I remember um, 2012, the problems were gone. Now, <clears throat> I am using RC, or 2017 release candidate, just to try the new stuff out. Um, but when you use 2008, you can target Office 2007 with that. Now, when you use off, or Visual Studio 2010, you can target Office 2010 and Office 2007. With Visual Studio 2012, you can target Office 2010 and then you can download support for Office 2013 to add it in later because Office 2013 wasn't out when Visual Studio, Studio 2012 came out. Um, I'm pretty sure Visual Studio 2013 probably has Office 2013 and Office 2010 support in it already. Not sure about 2015. Looks like 2000 17 that has let's see where to go ah. that appears to have 2013 and 2016 office in it and this is kind of new I'm going to explore this later just a developing um, one for anything I guess I'm not sure I have to look at that I've never seen that, seen that in 2012. So, and that's about it. So just don't use 2008. I wouldn't use 2010 either. Um, <coughs> VSTO is not available in the Express Edition or I think Community Edition. Any free version of Visual Studio, there is no VSTO. Any version you have to pay for it is in there. It's available. Um, I'd like to thank you for watching my video. Um, probably make some next videos on um, putting stuff nicely on a spreadsheet and then creating some charts if there's interest in that or in people subscribe. Uh, thank you and take care.